Hi, welcome to Lesson with John. Uh, today we're going to try Santa Lucia. Uh, we're going to do it in the key of E. Uh, your first chord is a E chord. Uh, fifth and fourth string, second fret, third string, first fret. That's my E chord. You only need three chords for the whole song. Uh, let's see. Let's let's go over the chords now. So a B7 is the fifth string, second fret, fourth string, first fret, third string. Uh, second fret and first string second fret. Okay, that's a little bit difficult, but you can do it. All right, last chord, you're going to bar the whole second fret and then the fifth string fourth fret. That's an F sharp minor seven. Okay, uh, about at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can transpose it, put it in a different key so the chords are easier. Uh, but this is generally the key that the song's in, so we're going to do it like this. And I'll show you how to make it easier. All right, so you got your E chord. It follows a pattern for the whole song. Um, there's like two sections, okay? So it's uh, it's like a 3-8 time signature. So uh, you could think of it like a 3-4 type thing. Um, you got an E chord. Uh, da, da, to a B7. Back to B7. Back to the E chord. E to B7. B7. B7, B7, back to E. One more time. E chord to B7, B7 to E. Next section, E chord to the F sharp minor 7. One more time, and then E chord, E, e B7, B7, back to E. Then you repeat that section, E to F sharp minor 7, stay on the chord, and then back to E. Da 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 B7 and then Santa Lu and then in E chord you could end on the E chord or you could do something like something fancy. Uh, you could just end on an E. So there's two sections in the song. Let's go over the form. You got your E for one measure, B7 for two measures, and then E for one measure. That's and that repeats four times in a row. So you got E. For one, B7 for two, E for one. And I know what some of you are going to say. How come you just can't say E for two? <laughs> but um, it's E for one, B7 for two, E for one. And that that repeats. So technically it does do it two times. But if you if you want to think of it as a, a unit, that's much better because then you think the whole thing four times in a row. That's the way I think about it. Um, the next section is E for one. F sharp minor 7 for 2, and then E for 1, and then the next line is E for 1 again, B7 for 2, and then E for 1. So the second line is just like the beginning part of the song. And then that repeats. So E, F sharp minor 7 for 2, E, and then E, B7 for 2, and then E. Okay? And I know that's going to drive some of you up a wall, but there'll be a link, and you can look at it, and you can see it, and it will make sense. Okay, now uh, we went over the chords. Uh, the pattern, like what I was doing, I, I just used my fingers and uh, my thumb. So what I was doing is doing like a boom. So I hit the sixth string for the E and then just strum the chord. When I went to the B7, I used the fifth string. And then the E chord was sixth string again. That's all. Seven, B7, seven, back to the E. Next section is E, F sharp minor 7, I'm going to use a 6th string for my boom. Back to the E chord, da 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 da, B7, B7, back to E. E, F sharp minor 7, E. E, B7, and then you can end the song. An e chord. And if you want to do that arpeggio that I was doing. So what I do on that is uh, once you practice it, it's not too difficult. I'm going to use my thumb on the 6, 4, and uh, sorry, 6, 5, and 4 strings. Uh, just like that. So my thumb gets half the guitar. It gets all the bass strings 
And then my index finger does the third, my middle does the second, and my ring finger does the first. So I can go right down real quick. And then because I have the two open strings on top, I can quickly let go of the chord and jump up to continue the arpeggio. And then what I do is I go to the second string, uh, ninth fret, first string, seventh, and then I did a harmonic on the first two strings at the 12th fret. If you don't know what those are, there's a video for that too. Um, I'm right over the fret um, is where you do the harmonics. I just lightly touch the strings. Uh, don't push down on them, just lightly, you know, lean on them. And then, then I played the open six string. So I went. And it just takes practice, that's all. All right, now I promised you that I would show you an easier way. What you do is, uh, so transposing is taking it and putting it in a different key. Um, say, uh, say you want to, you know, a little bit uh, lower or something. Someone was having difficulty singing the high notes. Um, one of the easiest things with Santa Lucia is you could go to a D chord. So it'll sound funny at first, but. Uh, da, 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 da. A7. A7 back to D, D da da A7, A7 back to D, D A7, A7 to D, one more time, A7, da 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 D. Stay on the D new section, da 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 da. I forgot to tell you what that chord was. D chord to an A7. We'll do it one more time. A7 to D. So D, and it was the one that I left out was E minor 7. Uh, and then you hit it again, and then a D chord. D to A7. A7 back to D. Alright, so the chords was a D chord, third string, second fret, first string, second fret. Second string, third fret. The A7, I just, I'm gonna use this finger as like my guide. I'm gonna lift these two guys up, pull him back to the second string, second fret, put my middle finger on the fourth string, second fret. That'll be my A7. Now for some reason, I changed what I was doing. I was doing like a boom, like that. I'm doing the same thing, but now I'm using my fingers. I didn't even mean to do it, I just did it. So the D chord, I'm using the, the, the fourth string for my thumb. And then these three fingers are hitting those top three strings like that. Do the same thing with the A7, except I'm going to go to the fifth string um, open because that's the root of A7. All right, the next chord, the only other chord is an E minor 7. Or you could do an E minor chord if you don't know this one, but this one's even easier. It's fifth string, second fret, and that's it. And technically, Unless you hit that fourth string open, it's basically an E minor anyway, the way I played it. So sixth string is what I'm playing with my thumb, and I just stay on those top three strings with these fingers, and for some reason that's the way I played it. Okay? So this, the form is D to an A7 for two, back to D, and then you repeat that line four times. And then the second section is D, E minor, or E minor seven for two, D, and then D, A7 for two, and then D. Okay? So those, uh, and, and if for some reason, you, uh, if you want to learn about a capo too, is what you could do is you put the capo at the second fret, and you do those chords. Where's my capo? Oh boy. Here's a capo. If you put the capo at the second fret, now the D chord that you'd be playing here is up here. Now I sound a little high, but, Now you're in the key of E. Even though you're using the D shapes, because you moved it up two steps, you know, D, uh, D sharp or E flat is the next one, and then E is the next one. So you're back to the original key that most people play it in. So if you're playing with a bunch of people and they're using the harder chords and you can't put the capo at the second fret, as long as you're all in tune, you'll be fine. All right, uh, and that's a little capo transposing La Santa Lucia lesson. <laughs> Any questions, comments down below, uh, there'll be a link so you can see my work and um, you'll be able to match it up. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and play more guitar.